Hello everyone. Today is a work on the honeydew list day. I, uh, I've got quite a list. What happens is I like to start projects and I never finish them. And typically my projects aren't small. I get these grand ideas and I think I can get it done in three days or four days and I'm highly mistaken usually and then the projects never get finished because I don't have time so I've been hearing about that quite a bit lately from the missus and I want to start trying to make that happen so what we're working on is about four years ago when I built the house or when I renovated the house and we, we moved in about four years ago we worked on the house for about eight months before I, I, I moved in and I got almost the whole interior of the house done um, and shortly after moving in I ended up with a hole in my schedule at work which was actually a blessing so we have a construction company, so this is what we do for a living. Um, ended up with a hole in my schedule, and it, it worked out perfect. Timing couldn't be better. It was in the, in the fall. The weather was great. And part of what I was supposed to do on the house during the renovation was a deck. And, of course, the original plan for the deck and what I ended up building are two different things. We, we had a wraparound porch on the front of the house that went back the side of the house about six feet on, on the one side and, and I'll show this to you later and what we were going to do is extend that all the way around to the back of the house and then build a, on the, a larger deck on the back of the house well what happened was we got started and started thinking about it and after we lived there for a month or two we realized that the sun just beats on the back of that house so uh, we thought of where we're going to use that deck got to have some shelter so I ended up building a large roof um, build it right into the house it's, it's tied right into my roof on the house and uh, it's, it's it's just an addition on the back of the house now and we ended up putting can lights under it and speakers and ceiling fans and just really did it right but again one of these projects that is huge and the idea of trying to get it done is very very taxing so we started on it, we ran out of time, uh, I had to get to another job, so I had to let the guys go back to making me money, and it, it went back to me working on the deck on the weekends, which I ended up running out of good weather, because uh, winter time came. By the time spring rolled around, it was time to stain the deck, because it had sat too long already, and they couldn't stain it in the fall, because it was too cold outside. So I uh, had to jump on that and basically the only thing that never got done on the deck was closing in the bottom side, which the way I like to do that is I take five quarter by six inch treated or composite, depending on what we're working with, um, decking boards and I turn them upright, I run them vertically and I butt them tight to each other and then the sun will dry them out and they'll end up with a little gap in there for some ventilation. But we um, run those tight all the way around the perimeter of the deck. That way you can't see underneath of it. Especially in my situation, my deck's uh, two to three feet off the ground, depending on where you are. So uh, that was a project that just never got done. And here we are about three and a half, four years later. And we were thinking about putting landscaping around the house. Um, and it made sense that I need to get that skirting done under the deck first, otherwise I'm gonna be trampling around in my flower beds after the landscaping's done. And that wouldn't that wouldn't make any sense. So that's how we got here. And last weekend I took a day and I got the whole front of the house done. Uh, it actually went pretty well. Uh, this morning I am headed to the lumber yard and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of the material to finish the skirting around the house also picking up material uh, another one of my projects was building a playhouse for the kids uh, up in the air I built
built it, uh, I'd say two summers ago, two or three summers ago I built that. And again, I went gangbusters on it for about three, four weeks. I got the whole thing framed. I mean, it's pretty legit. It's a, it's a, it's a 12 foot by 12 foot deck up in the air with a full set of steps coming up to it. And then it's got an eight foot by eight foot room built up there with an actual a stick, stick framed it, built the roof with a 612 pitch and, um, uh, had a new I had my roofer come out and put a new roof on my house last year and while he was out there I had him put the shingles on the roof but what I had done was gotten it framed got it wrapped with house wrap to protect it and uh, got the felt paper or the synthetic felt paper up on the roof and I left it it sat that way for two years got the shingles put on here last year finally and today I'm picking up material to finish a little bit of framing that needs to get done there I just ordered windows for it uh, and the siding and everything and basically it'll match my house 100% when it's done. So That's another one of these projects. We're trying to get wrapped up and get get done um, So this morning I'm headed to the lumber yard picking up all this lumber and then I'm gonna head back to the house Get all my tools out get ready to roll and See how much of this skirting we can get done Unfortunately, at some point, there's going to be an interruption in my in my uh, skirting because I have to move the hose bib from the back of the house. I got to move it out into the skirting, otherwise, I won't ever be able to get to it again. So that's going to be a, a bit of a project because, again, I'm probably going to go bigger than I need to, and I'm going to add a couple hose bibs back there and just make sure I can get water where I need it when I need it. So that'll be a whole other project in itself that'll probably take me a half a day or a day to do. Um, but anyway, uh, once we get back to the house and I get set up, I'll uh, get the camera out and I'll let you guys see what I'm up to. So that's it for now. See you later. So here's the deck on the front of the house. We got back to the house with the lumber here. Uh, you can see what I got accomplished last weekend with the skirting Just really looks nice. Uh, the other thing I didn't mention is we're getting ready to restain the deck this year Which again is a another huge project, but we're gonna do that and So I wanted to get this wood on I've got some lumber to replace some decking boards we get extreme Sun out here and it just it just twists the boards and really does some horrible things and so I've got some boards I got to get replaced before we restain. Um, this is where I'm going to start today. This is where I left off last weekend, ran out of lumber. So we're going to start here. I'm going to come all the way around and uh, we are up in the air about what we're going to do back here right now. Uh, I'm going to come at least all the way around to this corner here and then we're still deciding about possibly putting a pool back here. So I may add onto the deck, I'm not sure. So I'm not gonna do that section, but then we are gonna come back around and do this corner and then back to the house. So, all right, so we're getting ready to get started out here. Look at this lumber. Oh my goodness, that's a little overwhelming. Looks to me like a lot of work. Here's what we're doing. Come in here, add some framing. We're gonna do that all the way down here. We'll go behind the air condition. Someplace I'm gonna put a trap door in, or a access door, but I don't know where yet. I may cut it in later also. But I'm uh, gonna do that, and then we'll take some more of that skirting material and put it on there. So anyway, we're gonna get busy.
we got this section done just a little pile of scrap there nothing major got uh got in here we cut around the line set for the uh, air conditioner and uh, got that finished so now i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move get resituated we're gonna start and run all the way around to this corner right here have to pull some stuff out from under the deck i think what i've decided is i'm gonna put a little access panel right in here but again i don't know if i'm gonna mess with it today because it's gonna slow me down trying to get as much stuff as i can so this done and I really think it turned out nice and right about here is where we started today and then I had done all this uh, one day and uh, last weekend so that's where we are we'll see uh, show it to you when we get done with it